You mess with the baby. You mess with Papa. Hey! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Ryu Soldier DX Pakigaru. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So at the front here, we have Pakigaru and we have Chibigaru. We have Ryu Soled with the armor. We have Kishiryu. Up top, we have the Ryu soldiers on the side of the box. We have things and stuff. On the other side of the box, we have stuff and the things. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. Does this set the other things and stuff, stuff and things. On the bottom, you have warning. Don't eat anything in this box that could be very bad for you. And we have Sun Pac-Man! And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Pakigaru and Chibigaru. But before we talk about these two, let's take a look at the included Ryu Soul. And this is the Doshin Soul. You can see done in green. You get some nice silver there on the face, metallic blue there for the eyes, and there it is in its soul mode, push the button, boop, there it is in its night mode. Got the big old smashing fist going on there. Again, all done in green, you got the sticker there. For Pakigaru and Chibigaru. And on the back you have the helmet, the uh, face sculpt for Kishiryu. Oh. So there you have that, and without further ado, Let's bring in the Ryu Soul Changer and our friend the Ryu Soul Cup because this cup has got soul. So let's get down to it. So there you have that. And next up, the Ryu Soken. The smashing sound. It's smashing. And there you have that. So now on to the main events of the evening. Here we have a Pakigadu and a Chibigadu. And these are the latest Dino Knights to appear on the show. Let's move Junior off to the side here. And we'll take a look at Pakigadu himself. You can see some nice silver there on the face. I'm going to talk blue there for the eyes. Let's get the teeth done in gold. Got some big old boxing glove hands going on there. You also get some silver in there. Silver for the feet. That's a pretty nice detail. Get some silver back here as well for the big thruster. And yeah, there's the top. There's the bottom. As far as articulation goes, uh, the arms can rotate. You get some rotation out of them. The legs can also move forward and back as well. So you get a little bit of posability out of Pakigaru here. And here is Chibigaru. Oh, look at little Chibigaru. I'm sorry. Just so cute. <laughs> Here's Chibigaru. Again, metallic blue there for the eye. Silver, a little bit of orange there. A little bit of gold and some silver on the feet. I'm sorry, he's just so cute. He does so cute, but, you know. There is Chibigaru with Papa. 
And Chibi Garu can store a couple different ways here on Paki Garu. You can store him right here in the chest, which is uh, what he did on the show. Just slide him back, he clicks into place. There you go. You can have that stored the way it was on the show. You do also have this rear section here, which you can also use. And he'll just clip right in. There is there, there are little nubs on either side that go into uh, these little these little ports right here. It's just a point of lining it up, and it should. Hey, you got to snap right into place. And Chibi Garu's not going to fall off. So you can have that going on as well. You can do it however you want. As always, your toy, display it however you wish. And for comparison, here is Paki Garu with Tiramigo. Tira! 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 So you have that. Now we can combine Paki Garu with Tira Amigo here in his dino mode. And we're going to show this off because it's kind of cool. So you want to basically just rip Paki Garu apart. You want to leave Chibi Garu right there where he is. Take that apart. Rip Paki Garu in half. What we're going to do is just going to bring the arms up. Just two clicks. Like so. So it looks like that. Then you bring the legs. Bring them back. Two clicks. And you got that going on. So what we're going to do with Tira Amigo is we're going to remove the drills and they're going to relocate to the hips. And they're going to sit just like that. And just like that. We're going to remove the guns from his back. And these are going to... Of course, we have to rotate the arms around. Like so. And the guns are going to just clip in right there. Like so. And we're going to take this section here, this will clip on right there, this section will clip on right here, like so, and then this section here with Chibigaru is just going to clip on right onto the tail, like so, and there you have that combination going on. So hey, it's a thing you can do if you want to do it. And you can also combine Pakigaru with Mosavex Mosa! Yes, you can. Yes, you can. So, we're going to take this section here with Pakigaru, and we're going to take these sections right here, and these are going to plug onto the sides, like so, and like so. And now this is going to plug in right here, right on top of Mosavex. Here we lined up. Just snap that into place. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take this section and this is going to plug in right up here like that and the tail section here is going to plug in on the other side like so and there is the combination with Mosavex and of course there are robot mode combinations to be had here so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with Kishiryu oh here in three knights form and we're going to just Remove this section and remove this section, and we're not going to need that. We're going to leave the shoulders as is, and then we bring in Paki Garu and start ripping them apart. Rip them apart, and you're going to take Chibi Garu, and Chibi Garu is going to clip on right over Paki Garu's face like that, and then you're going to bring the arms up, the two clicks, bring the legs back, those two clicks, and. This section right here is going to clip onto this section here, like so. So you got that going on. And then this side gets clipped on here. And this side gets clipped on here. And the last thing we do is we remove that head. We plug in the new head. And they have Kishiryo Pakigaru. And that's a pretty cool combination. I like the way that looks. It's, you know, there's not much to it, but I do like the way that looks. It just has some big, like, boxing gloves going on there. Like, I dig that. I personally dig that. And, of course, you can combine Pakigaru with Kishiryu Neptune here. And to do that, only prep we have to do is just remove his sword and put that off to the side. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take this section here with the thruster. That is going to plug on sideways like that and then we take this section here and this section will clip on like so and then the sword will plug in right here like that and on the other side just gets the front half and that will just plug in 
right here like so and there you have Neptune combined with Pakigaru and if you want you can swap the heads the instructions don't tell you to swap the heads but if you want to hey you can do it hey it's always your toy display it however you wish and there's one more combination I want to do here with Kishiro Yo, just because I think this one's kind of cool. This kind of, it's silly. It's cool because it's silly. But uh, to do this, you want to remove the drills. You're going to leave those shoulders right where they are. So what we're going to do here is we're going to, uh, we have to take Pakigaru off of uh, Papa's face here. All right, remove that. Bring that back up. And Chibigaru is going to go right in here, like so. So what we're doing here, what you gotta do is we're going to take the drills and this one is going to go this way and the other one is going to go this way. So you have that going on. And we're gonna take this section here. This is gonna go right back where it was for the original combination. And now all of this is going to plug on to this like that. And then this section here with the thruster is going to get clipped on to this one. And there you have Kishiryu o with the giant mega fist, which looks kind of cool, but it's also kind of dangerous when you think about it, because if you notice, you're basically going to be punching people with, uh, with the baby. That's, that's, that's child abuse right there. But you know, Hey, Hey, <laughs> it's what it is. Uh, it's silly, but kind of cool. So there you have Pakigaru and Chibigaru. Some more Dino Knight goodness to just add to all the crazy combinations that you want to come up with for your robots. The more of these you have, the more combinations you can come up with. And that's what I love about this line is it just has so much playability. So yeah, fun stuff to be had here. I am still loving this line. So there you go. Now, of course, there are many sites you can go to for stuff like this. If you are interested, such as CS Toys, Hobby Link Japan, Ami Ami, Hobby Search, Mandarake. Of course, there's always eBay and Amazon, but do be wary of their pricing. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for Super Sentai and for you soldier toys. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check them out. You can also check out my Ryu Soldier playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Ryu Soldier, the ex Bucky Garu, and this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek, be proud, home in your face.